Always Alyssa. We have a pretty fun video planned for you guys today, including a surprise that even Alyssa doesn't know about that I have planned. Speaking of surprises, I have something for you before you we do? start. Yes. Ta-da! Oh, a headband! <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> I'm going to put it on too. I'm going to wear this headband with pride. Well, my surprise to Alyssa is going to wait till a little bit later, but I think it's a really good one. In the meantime, we're going to open some toys for you guys. What do you want to open first? How about the vet set? Okay, we'll start with this one. There's a little toys. Oh, it's a cute little puppy. What's this? Scale? Oh, it's a scale. Oh, it actually works. Uh -huh. How cute. Look how cute. It's a little x-ray machine. Let's open these. It says that there's a rare pet inside. Ooh. So. I like to get rare things. We like the animals. You guys might be wondering why I'm sitting in on Alyssa's video today, and that's because Cabbage Patch were a big thing when I was a little kid. So I thought it would be fun to do it together. Those are cute. They did not have this kind of Cabbage Patch when I was a kid, though. They only had the stuffed animal ones, the big ones. Okay, we're gonna see what surprise animal we got. Ready? Okay. Yes. Oh, I got oh, a little bear. I got a little owl. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, there's some surprise Ooh. toys. Aren't these cute? It's like little lettuce heads. Cabbage patches, if you will. <laughs> cute, look at the surprise ones. Oh, those are cute. There's a little duck in there. Oh, that's cute too. This one has two girls and a dog. Is that all that's in there? Yep. Okay, let's open some of these surprise ones, okay? Okay. Oh, I got a girl. Hey, She's me too. Cute. Aww. Did we just get twins? Oh, we I just opened so. up the same girl. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, there's two. There's a little baby. Oh, that's cute. And a cute little kitty. Aww. See? That's really cute. She's cute. Pink with blue eyes. Oh my goodness. This is the third or fourth one we've got of this one. We've got a lot of like twins, triplets, and quadruplets now. And we've got a couple of this cute girl. She looks like you, Alyssa. She's got oh, blonde cute. hair and blue eyes and she's wearing pink. <laughs> Look, there's triplets. Look at all the cute pets. They're really cute. This one's a rare one right here. I like the cat and the dog. Now for the especially good part. Opening the big Cabbage Patch dolls. Yep. What do you think? Oh, well, she's pretty cute. She's got a pretty cute outfit on, huh? Yeah. Do you know who this one's going to be for? Michael? I think so. I was gonna say he reminds me of Michael. He's kind it of looks crazy a lot hair. like Michael. <laughs> Michael's got some fluffy hair up top and blue eyes. Hey, Michael, come here. And this one could be Yuya. <laughs> they could. Look at her cute jellies. That's cute. She's cute. Oh, I like her surfing outfit too. Michael, look. What do you think? Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. He looks kind of like you, doesn't he? Let's look. Smile. Smile at the camera. Let's look. Do they look alike? <laughs> Pretty cute. You know what? I think you actually have blonder hair than he does, though. <laughs> We're looking at their birth certificate. I got Alexandra. His name is Evan. We can always rename him to Michael. What do you think? <laughs> I think so. I think so. It's cute. He was born September 15th. What about yours? April 27th. Cool. Now we have a baby here. But the best part is that I'm going to show you, actually, I just love how cute his shoes were. <laughs> Look how cute his shoes are. Those are cute. They're pretty cute. Maybe, I like these maybe Owen should borrow them. I know. <laughs> Owen could actually probably fit in this clothes practically. Who well, couldn't he? Okay, I got off track. The best part of today's video is I went over to my mom's house earlier today and I got a box of stuff from when I was a little kid, younger than you were. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay so when I was a little kid, Cabbage Patch dolls are first coming out. Oh, that one's naked. <laughs> it's naked. But everybody really wanted them. And my mom wanted one for me. 
and she couldn't get one because they were completely sold out in all of the stores. Oh, really? So my mom had a friend who had gotten two dolls and she was willing to sell my mom one of the dolls and she got it for me. So I was able to get a Cabbage Patch doll for Christmas when they first came out. And my doll that I got was this girl right here. Aww. Her name is Stephanie. I don't know if that's the name that she came with or if that's the name that I named her, but this is my Cabbage Patch doll when I was a kid. And look, she's pretty similar if you look at her. Look at their hands and stuff. Their faces are a little different. She's though. a little taller than your girl. Can you see that? Yeah. So this is Stephanie. And then we have this one and this one. Twins. Twins. Twin boys. Funny thing, I had twin boys when I was a little girl. <laughs> I was foreseeing my future, clearly. And then there's this girl who is very well loved. Her hair is kind of a mess. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> And I had this one that I eventually got when I was a little older. I like her dress. And I think there's one more in here that was my favorite. I think this one's name was Bridget. She oh, has yeah. like beans in her. She's made of beans. I really like this little baby girl. She's kind of like the new baby. Where's the new baby? Oh, right there. There's this little baby. This little baby's a little smaller than this girl too. So the interesting thing about my Couch Patch dolls though is that my mom made all their clothes. Yeah. So all this clothes that my girls are wearing, my mom sewed this. That's cool. And I guess back in the 1980s when she was doing this, the clothing was just selling like hot cakes off the shelf. So my mom had people asking her to make clothes. And so she was making all this Cabbage Patch Girls clothes and she was selling the dresses for $10 each. So Nanny made these. So she made this one and this one. Cool. This one came on one of the Cabbage Patch dolls, so she didn't make that. This is a little underwear that goes with the dress. And then here's this girl's little underpants. And there's a couple more. There's like a little, a little pinafore that one of the dolls wore. And then there's this little dress. Okay, I grabbed a bunch more stuff. So this is a little white gown that actually came on one of the Cabbage Patch dolls that I got. So that's a Cabbage Patch one. And then this dress with this little pair of undies came on one of the Cabbage Patch girls that we bought from the store. And I think I have one more doll that I have, which is this one. She's a little bit bigger baby with, with a bald head still. <laughs> I like her little dress and she's got her little undies on underneath. I like her dress too. And then my mom made me a diaper bag, Aww. but I liked it a lot. So she made me another one. And I guess I really liked this one because this one's like all ripped and stuff, but she made these cute little diaper bags for the dolls. And then she made them sleeping bags also. So here's a little sleeping bag that the dolls can go inside. And she made this sleeping bag too. Wow, and this, <laughs> I know, this is the same fabric that my special blanket was made out of that my mom made me. Oh, that's cool. And the other cool thing is all these little dresses that she made, she made dresses for me out of these too. Oh, so she was cool. matching me to my little dolls. And it was pretty cool. The other interesting thing is Cabbage Patch dolls nowadays sell for like $15 to like $30 approximately. And that's crazy because back in the 1980s, which was a long time ago, not too long of course, but a little bit long ago, um, they were selling for $50. Wow. So that's pretty expensive. Yeah, but you can see the inflation, that was a yeah. lot of money. So that was probably a very expensive doll for me to get. So I was very lucky that I did get one and then I got a couple more. And then the other really cute thing is that my mom also made me these cute little backpacks. So I would wear the little backpack so I could carry my doll like as a front carrier. Here, you wanna try it on? Yeah. So you put your arms through like that. And then you put the doll in? And you put the doll in and you can carry it. So there's that one. And then there's this one. I like this one. Isn't that cute? Yeah, cute. One of the other things I still have are the shoes. So the laces oh, yeah. are missing, but these are the little shoes, just similar, they're just the little rubber shoes. And then we only have one of these shoes left, but it's really cute, isn't it? That is cute. It's got little stripes on it. It's a cute little Cabbage Patch shoe. Do they fit in the doll on the dolls? Yep, they fit on the dolls. So see, here's one of my dolls. And you can put her little foot right in the shoe. Oh, see? that's cute. So they fit her. I wonder if they fit your doll. Where's Maybe. your doll? This one right here. Here's Alyssa's new doll she just got. We'll take off her shoe. Let's see. You know what? Your doll's feet are a little bit different. See? Yeah. The old doll has a longer foot. So this shoe is probably going to be too big for your doll, but we'll Maybe. try it on anyway. It fits though. Yeah. Looks cute. 
Look, let's compare the dolls. Wanna hold yours? Sure. So I think that the girls then and now have like pretty much the same eyes. Your girl has some little eyelashes. Yes. And if you turn them sideways, let's look at their profile. They look almost the same, I think. They still have these big chubby cheeks. Yeah. And I think the main difference is that the they have, chin? yeah, a little bit better looking chin now. Yeah. A little more pronounced chin. What about the key on her wrist? Should we try that out? Sure. It says that the key does something special to the puppy. Oh, really? Yeah, and he has a key too. Okay, let's try the key out. Okay. Oh, it unlocks the heartbeat. Look at that. So without the key, you can just push it and it makes the little sounds. Let's try his key too. So I'm interested to know of everybody watching, what decade did you get your first Cabbage Patch doll in? Like, are you like me where you got one of the first ones in the 80s? Or are you like Alyssa who just barely got one now? <laughs> I'd be interested to know. It's a pretty cool thing that like it's a toy that's been lasting for so long, huh? Yeah. Pretty neat. Thanks for watching. Bye.